Hey guys, welcome to See It, Feel It, Be It. Perhaps one of the most fundamental, practical, rememberable practices to generate the reality of your dreams. Using imagination, most of all. So I'll just get right into it. First stage is see it. Whenever we generate a reality we desire, what happens is usually sometimes even unbeknownst to us without our knowingness without our consciousness of it, is that we have seen something, pictured it, we've imagined it. So when you imagine something, what you're literally doing is you're taking your present self, but from your sense of localization in this particular parallel reality, you intuit or tune into your dial, your radio, your antenna, which is known to you as your imagination, your consciousness, imagination, same thing. And you tune it into a parallel reality that seems further removed from where you're at in terms of the vibratory state and how that has made itself manifest in your dream awake world. So you call it imagination because it doesn't seem manifest and real. That's okay. It's still real over there in that level of your consciousness. So you're tuning into that alternate level of your consciousness, which is already experiencing that parallel manifestation reality. And from your present sense of self, that feels like imagination. But we can also see it quite literally as the start of a download. It's like you going online and starting to click the button that says download now. That's the seeing stage. You see it. Now, when you see it sufficiently enough, let's say you hold it in your mind for 10, 20, 30 seconds. You imagine that reality. You've pressed the button and now you start downloading that file, that parallel reality into your consciousness, right? Quite literally what's happening is you're, sh you're altering your vibratory state of your consciousness to then s you start to perceive and move into that particular reality. But we could say it more logistically or space-time linearly, linearly oriented. From a linearly oriented point of view, we can call it that we are quite literally downloading that alternate reality into our consciousness. But we're really just making a tweak inside of our consciousness that then allows us to generate within the same field of here and now, the same changeless awareness. We now generate a different, we activate a different reality. That's literally what's happening. But more symbolically, what's happening is we're tapping into a parallel reality that's quote unquote over there in another portion of our consciousness. Not really true, but it will work as an analogy. And we by seeing it, we start to download the megabits, the files, the actual coding behind that reality into our present sense of awareness, our consciousness. So when we see it, we start to activate it. We click the button, we agree to download that reality. The more we see it, the more we picture it, we even start to feel it. Now the feeling it means that the download is like halfway complete. We start to actually, oh, feel what it's like. We can maybe even already start to hit play on that button and we can start to hear the first few sentences of that particular song or to watch the first few scenes of that movie while the rest is still downloading or play the first few levels of the game while the rest of the levels is still downloading and processing. So the feeling it means that we start to actually experience more from the point of view of that reality than we did before. That is the second stage. So we've seen it, and as we see it, we start to feel it. What would it be like to be in that seeing, in, to be in the actual seeing of that reality? And we start to feel what it's like to be that alternate version of ourselves with that alternate reality canvas. And then when we start feeling it, we start to actually believe in it, which is the third step, believing it, or rather being it. Because as soon as we believe in it, we start to actually be it, become it, live it, act it out, execute it, respond as if we are the alternate version that we first just saw from a distance. And when we start being it, when we have believed in it, when we start to believe in it because we started to feel it, therefore it started to feel real to us, therefore we could believe it. And now that we believe it and we can believe it, we can walk in the shoes of that reality. We can actually be it and respond as it and act from that space, from that vibratory state. That's the third stage, the being it. When we be it, our physical manifestation, which we know is not really physical, it's just the energy of awareness itself, creating another perception inside of its own awareness, 
then starts to morph itself, warp itself. Space-time starts to warp its illusory energy self around our vibratory state of conviction. Our new sense of beingness is now literally manifesting and executing and acting itself out into the physical physicality of the illusion of consciousness, the physical illusion of consciousness. So see it, feel it, and be it. It's a very simple process. That's really all there is to it. You can apply this to any dream that you have. You can apply this to any desire that feels genuinely, genuinely relevant for you, that genuinely excites you. It's got to be something that excites you, otherwise it won't really be relevant, why would you create it? So choose something that excites you. Tune into an imaginative reality that excites you. It doesn't really matter if it's practical, realistic or not. It doesn't matter because everything is realistic to consciousness. Ultimately, imagination is equally valid as physical imagination, simply less limited. So it may seem more loony, but it's as real to consciousness as this is real to you. Okay, so validate your imagination, no matter what it may look like, and let it be something that truly excites you, makes you feel harmonious and completely aligned and in abundance and in the truth of yourself and in integrity too. And when you imagine something along those lines, something that truly excites you, you can start to feel it after a few seconds maybe already. But at least after 20 seconds, for sure, you start to feel certain things about that reality. That simply means you've hit the download button and you start to actually download feelings of that vibratory state that will generate that particular reality or something very close to it. And so you start to feel it. And when you start to feel it, give yourself full permission to enjoy all these feelings as if they are real. And try not to include the idea that something is not yet physical. Okay, don't pay attention to your physical reality. Don't take your cue from your circumstances. In this stage of the process of the seeing it, feeling it, being it, it's fairly crucial if you wish to, in a sense, make this manifest and be it and become it and then realize it or manifest it, that you don't include any thoughts of, oh, but it's not here yet. Oh, but my physical reality can never contain this imagined reality. You have to let go of all these limiting ideas at this fragile stage of the seeing it, feeling it, being it manifestation process. You see it, then you feel it, then you, then you completely ignore all thoughts, all realities of your present physical reality. You ignore what is and you move on to what will be by completely feeling into that reality and allowing yourself to feel ecstatic. Whether or not you believe it will actually happen doesn't matter. You just allow yourself to feel ecstatic, to feel the feeling of that reality that you were just seeing. Now that you're feeling it, you start to actually be able to believe that something along those lines is possible. Maybe not exactly in the way that you imagined it, maybe even better if you leave room for that. But if you leave room for surprise, which is the mystery made manifest, that's what surprises are. The mystery showing up as a surprise in the manifest world, that's a surprise. So when you start to feel it, you literally download that feeling into your present vibratory state. And this is a beautiful stage of this process because you start to feel the joy of that reality without even actually needing the reality. So now you can even let go of the seeing of it and simply enjoy the feeling of it. And through the feeling of it, you start to believe that something along the lines of that vibratory state is possible. Because if the feeling is truly ecstatic, you will naturally be in a state of being that is higher than a state of being that induces lack and beliefs and limitation. So somehow in that state of excitement, you're so in awe of creation allowing itself to be ecstatic in the form of you that you know you are loved, you know you are connected to your true self, you know everything is limitless and possible, and you know that you can manifest whatever it is you desire to manifest. Somehow, without it becoming tense or like this project or a need to come in this way where it needs to show up at this time, you simply leave it completely open and up to your higher self as to what the details will be how it will unfold, all you do, all your duty, all that your duty consists of is to be in the feeling vibratory state of that good feeling reality with not, without referencing the limitations of your presently made ma manifest physical reality. So being in that state of joy and happiness and non-physical orientation or imaginative orientation, feeling really good, you start to believe certain things. You start to change your paradigm through feeling good. The good feelings start to change the beliefs starts to trickle down into your belief system. When your beliefs start to change, you start to act differently. You start to respond as if you are a rich person, as if you are a happy person, as if you are a realized person, as if you are a person in a really, really healthy relationship, as if you are a person that has the house that they have always wanted to live in, as if you are the person that's doing the job they've always wanted to do. 
etc. You start to respond as that person quite effortlessly, simply because you started to feel what it's like to be that person. Now you start to believe it. And when you believe it, you start to be it and act as if it is there. And when you send out that vibration that powerfully, meaning by conviction, by simply naturally becoming that reality, that vibratory state, and still not looking to your physical circumstances to whether or not it has made be manifest. Oh, it's still not here. What am I doing wrong? No, just keep, keep the attention fully into the heart sense feeling of your ecstatic sense of self, taking fully in the happiness that's already here, noticing that you don't even need it to become manifest anymore because you already have the happiness inside self chosen, self activated. And when you do that, my friend, I guarantee you, your reality will significantly change to reflect this new vibratory state in full. It may not show up as you thought it would, but it does show up and sometimes, oftentimes even better than you could have imagined from a lower vibratory state, which you had prior to the seeing, feeling it being a process. So what you think is the highest is only the starting point once you actually start moving into those higher vibratory states of belief systems and being. When you do this, you'll start changing your reality more and more quickly with no effort. Just by being of a different vibratory state, you can see the scenery generated inside of your own consciousness using your own presence energy effortlessly change to reflect somehow in form, in manifest form, your non-physically aligned true self. Congratulations. The purpose of this homework is to try this out with at least one concept, at least one idea, one imagination, allow it to change your feeling state, allow it to make you feel more abundant, more happy, more connected, more supported, more loved, more worthy of knowing who you are and wanting to be who you want to be. And then be that internally without any need for the circumstances to reflect this yet. Just be convinced inside of yourself. And when you do that, start to see the changes. And what I want you to do is to report by describing in a few paragraphs, you're seeing it, feeling it, being a process, write it down or type it out and ideally share it with us in the study group. That would be awesome. And um, then also over the course of the next few days, even though you're not focused on the physical manifestations of it, when proof of it does show up, when change does show up, do define that for a brief moment. Do touch upon that. Do give it a little... Uh, tap on the shoulder, a little encouragement, do highlight that, do say and notice, hey, thank you for the evidence of the change that is the result of my change in my state of being. And then just move on, meaning simply be in the desired imaginative state of seeing, feeling and being once again, keep being in the seeing that you want to see, feel what you want to feel and be who you want to be, regardless of circumstance. When circumstance does, however, change, Simply notice it, note it, highlight it, thank it, be grateful for it, be even more confirmed of it, become even more convinced of this power, this process, and then continue again to simply focus on the state of being. Don't watch the seeds you've previously planted germinate. Don't wait for them to grow out. In order for those seeds you previously planted to fully germinate and grow into beautiful flowers, you need to move on to the next seed and the next seed and the next seed. And before you know it, the flower is awaiting you ready to be plucked, ready to do with whatever you want to do. But you have to always be in the state of clear and enjoyable seeing it, feeling it, being it as often as you can. And when you do that, things will manifest by the bunches. And then you simply notice for a brief period of time for a few seconds, 10 seconds, five seconds, two seconds. Thank you. Another change confirmation. Thank you. I am the creator of my reality. Thank you. I am all powerful. Thank you. I am worthy of change. Thank you. Circumstances truly is a reflection of state of being. Thank you. Vibration truly does generate my universe. Nothing else does. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then again, choose this seeing it, feeling it, being it that you want to be in. Just rest in that gratitude and the freedom to create the next most beautiful thing. And then write down a report of some of the evidence that showed up over the course of the next two or three days before you start your next lesson. Share with us some of those details, some of those points of evidence, even though you don't get hung up on it, but simply as a practice of allowing it to be confirmed, allowing yourself to notice and allowing others to become more convinced too, through your testimonials of your own practice, that things change according to vibration only, and that therefore you are the master of your universe. Thank you. I hope you share some of it with us in the study group so that all may benefit from the rest of themselves, which is you. Thank you for co-creating, for co-participating, for knowing and remembering and practicing that you are God.
that you are the creator. Thank you and enjoy. This is a fun process. This is the basics, the essentials, the most important foundation of generating your reality. See it, feel it, be it.